Hey guys! So today I'm going to go through um, the ingredients in Natural's 85 Melanin um, Hair Care um, Styling Cream. And everybody's raving about this and everybody's like, oh my gosh, it's so natural! Oh my gosh, it's so good! Blah, blah, blah. So like, yes. I, I am one of those who rave about it because it's really moisturizing and it's really good. But we don't have to look at these ingredients because it ain't all natural, boo. Like, it ain't all natural and you can't pronounce every single thing on this ingredient list. Like, let's get real about this. It has a lot of natural products. It has a lot of natural ingredients, but it also has some synthetic ingredients too. And we don't have to talk about that. So if you want to know about some of the synthetic ingredients in here and if it's good or not good for your hair then stay tuned okay guys so like before we get into this i geek out on like looking at the ingredients on anything any product and like trying to figure out what is it there for is it good for my hair why is it there or whatever so that's what we're actually gonna do and i'm just like on top of the world right now okay so like just like looking at this product like from a glance like the things that i see there is alcohol 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 and i'm just like nobody wants alcohol in there it is drying and it is damaging we do not like alcohol not in the natural arena okay not in the natural hair arena. we don't we don't do that sis but like when you look at it closely, there's like sterile alcohol or cetyl alcohol. And these alcohols in here are actually from a class called fatty acid alcohol. So they're not what we call short chain alcohols. Oh my gosh, I said alcohol so many times, I think I'm drunk. Which are like rubbing alcohol. These fatty acid alcohols are actually what we consider to be emollients. And they soften and they moisturize your hair. So the alcohols in here, are actually beneficial to your hair so i want to give naturals 85 a thumbs up on that don't scare me dude. <laughs> so then okay let's just start from the beginning the first ingredient on here is water obviously the second ingredient on here is shea butter obviously it smells like shea butter but the next ingredient on here is synthetic and it's called glycerol sterate all right so glycerol sterate is actually the binding of two molecules a steric acid and a glycerol molecule now they bind together i think the reaction is hydrolysis but that's not important so um but i think this ingredient is here is in here for two reasons two reasons one it actually is an emollient and it softens and it moisturizes your hair but also it's a thickener and if you've opened this bad boy, you know that it is thick. Like, it is thick, thick. It doesn't jiggle. It doesn't move. It doesn't flow. Like, it is thick. So, I think the main reason why it's in there is because it's a thickener. But it's also what we call a co-emulsifier. And it works with another emulsifier. It works very well with another emulsifier called CTRF20. Say what? And there is Citrus here. It's actually the one, two, three, four, the, fi the fifth ingredient on here. And if you don't know what an emulsifier is, an emulsifier is any ingredient that allows um, oil and water to mix. If you know about oil and water, you know oil and water don't mix naturally. Um, they usually phase separate into two phases with the oil on the top, the water on the bottom. So a lot of cosmetic products, in order to get you a nice homogeneous product that looks like this they usually make emulsions with oil and water and they use an emulsifier to do that um what's next the next thing on the list is caprylic or capric triglyceride now <laughs> i see caprylic and i see capric and i think coconut oil like listen sis my hair does not like coconut oil like it might do coconut products but coconut oil no 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 ma'am and a lot of naturals have that same problem they 
don't do coconut oil the hair just doesn't like it and i know for a fact that naptua's 85 hair does not like coconut oil so why would she put it in here but hold up it's not coconut oil it's not caprylic um acid it's actually a triglyceride so it is derived from coconut oil but it's not coconut oil and it doesn't act the same it's completely two different molecules so in this you have the caprylic acid three of them binding to one glycerol molecule and that forms the triglyceride and the way it acts different um or the way you might recognize it acting different it gives your hair that moisture or it moisturizes your hair without that greasy feel so like the oil makes your hair feel greasy and ugh but like this it will moisturize but it will not give you that greasy feeling if you've tried this product then you know it's very moisturizing but guess what sis it doesn't give you that greasy feel like you don't feel that at all so that's great next <laughs> um oh god where am i Okay, so bear with me on this one. The next ingredient on here is steramido propyl dimethylamine. And I know that's a mouthful, you don't gotta say it. So um I don't know too much about this product, but I do know it's a surfactant just like another product in here. So behind trimonium methyl sulfate is also a surfactant and they're actually both cationic surfactants. Um, one is stronger than a stronger surfactant than the other, but they're both cationic surfactants. And if you don't know what a cation is, it's a I I would say it's a molecule with a positive charge on it. That's the best way to describe it. So you know you have a battery, it has a positive end, a negative end. It's not the same thing, but the same concept. It's it has a positive charge on it. And the reason why that's important is um, oh, and what's a surfactant? The surfactant is any ingredient that um, reduces um, surface tension. And the best way for me to describe surface tension is I can give you an example because like that's the only way I can explain it. Um, you know, like insects walk on water. So the reason why insects walk on water is because of surface tension. That's the best way to, for me to describe it without any science. Um, so. The reason why the positive surfactant is important is because so when you wash your hair with shampoo, they sometimes use negative um, surfactants or what we call anionic surfactants in shampoos. And in, and in conditioners, what they do is they put positive um, or cationic surfactants in there. So this having so so your hair imagine your hair having a negative charge on there but this has a positive charge so positive cancels out negative so what it really does is neutralizes any negative charges that you may have on your hair and in the process of doing that it takes out any static that may be on your hair and it one detangles two it so it binds to your hair it detangles and it creates slip so there's a lot of slip and it's so good so like if you've tried this product then you know for sure like it has some slip it moisturizes and it really and it does detangle your hair so I think these two products are probably what aids in that detangling of the hair and giving the giving the um, ingredients some slip so uh is that it yeah that's it like that's pretty much it it doesn't really have most of mostly everything else is natural and that's it so like i want to give naturals 85 a thumbs up on this product like a thumbs up on ensuring that even the synthetic elements to this product is good for your hair like even the synthetic components of this product is good for your hair so it's mainly natural with a few synthetic products but the synthetic side of it is still good for your hair so give it a try like i'm not paid for this but i tried it twice and i fell in love with it so you may just like it too and if you're a natural who actually wants something 
that's more natural and don't like necessarily like doing DIYs, this is going to be very convenient for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and for like dealing with my spiel, my science spiel sort of. Um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments, then go down in the comments and let me know what's on your mind. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, then I hope you consider to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.